the article's out today. It was released this evening or this afternoon. So you can see for decades, the Federal Reserve made clear its readiness to raise interest rates at earliest signs of creeping inflation. So they try to manipulate inflation by raising rates. But they've changed their stance. That's kind of a big thing when the Fed changes their stance on how they manipulate currency and, and inflation and all that. So they're talking about not raising rates. And if you look down here, the widespread is expectation is the Fed is poised to adopt a more flexible policy that would allow inflation to overshoot its 2% annual target. I don't know about that. I feel like that's risky because if inflation gets out of control, then the U.S. dollar becomes worthless or worth less than it is now, which if we look, let's see, let's check the U.S. dollar value right now. And we'll see where it is compared to the euro. So, yeah, right now the U.S. dollar is worth 0.84 of a euro. So you can see, we look at this max chart of the U.S. dollar, it's kind of, it's like started rebounding and now it's kind of dipping. And now with this information tomorrow, if inflation gets out of control, this value could drop quite a bit. So if you know anything about currency and inflation and all that, you know that when currencies drop in price, gold and other precious metals usually skyrocket because if you're invest you're an investor you usually don't just have your cash sitting around but if your cash is just sitting around and inflation rates keep going up and up and up and the value of your cash is going down and down and down your cash is sitting there and you're losing money so what i'm thinking is we might see a jump in gold which gold has moved up uh, since the pandemic and everything else going on because gold always goes up when there's uncertainty in the markets but I think people are going to start investing their cash after this announcement tomorrow like if this is what they're going to be announcing and it could be a couple of days of sketchiness like I don't know what to expect tomorrow in the market but we saw today and yesterday where the you know the small cap world was pretty slow there's a few large caps and mid caps here there ripping and running we'll pop back the thinker swim here and look at the market watch and you can see it's still mixed it's been a pretty mixed week so there's there's uncertainty in the market right now and i would say a lot of that is due to Jer uh, jerome powell's whatever his new idea to let inflation increase I already bought some gold, some silver, and uh, a little bit of platinum last night because I didn't have any of that. And just in case the U.S. dollar does decrease in value, inflation does get out of hand, there could be a little while there where your cash might not be worth anything. So just in case, I would like to have a little bit of gold, silver, and platinum in case I need it for you know something it's one of those things where it's a worst case scenario but even so it might not get as bad as i would expect because if anybody follows peter schiff peter schiff called the 2008 housing market crash and, and the market crash and the economy crash he's been calling again for another crash and of course the crash has already kind of happened with the pandemic but what you got to keep in mind with people like Peter Schiff, he owns a gold buying, selling, and holding company. So, of course, he's going to tell you and warn you for the doomy gloomy, it's the end of the world apocalypse stuff. Because the more he does that, even if he is somewhat right that the market may crash, he's going to tell you it's going to be the worst case scenario and that you need to put all your money in gold and precious metals. I, on the other hand, I'm just a guy. I'm not some guy with a big fancy gold company, and I don't see a reason to put all your money in precious metals. But putting a little bit in precious metals is not a bad idea.
And it is kind of a way to hedge your portfolio because if the market crashes, those precious metals usually jump up. Now, this is the first time I've ordered off of this site. And I'll show you guys the site real quick. Uh, this is the site I ordered off of. They got pretty pretty solid reviews all the way through. You know, you check the bottom. They got the best, better Business Bureau, all these different places, Apple Store, Google Play. You know, they look pretty legit. They, uh, I think they pretty, I'm pretty sure they guarantee everything. So we'll see. But a lot of people don't realize that you can buy gold and silver and all these things online. And you don't have to, like, this coin's $2,000. But if you look right here, you can get a gram of gold, a gold bar for $83. And the more you actually buy, the better discount you get. But this site's got all kinds of stuff. You got gold, silver. Get out of here. You can see silver. And silver is definitely cheaper than gold. If you see at the top, you got uh, gold's currently right now at uh, 1961 an ounce. Silver's at 27 an ounce. Silver's been dropping. Platinum's at 946 an ounce. But all these things are used in multiple things in our society, so they always have value no matter what. It could drop, you know, that's one thing you have to realize is that it could drop. Let's look at the gold price chart. Here we go. Let's see. So 20 year. So here's the 20 year, and you see gold the past 20 years has went up. So gold always increases in value. It is pretty high right now. If it dips, then I would probably pick some more up. But with this inflation thing happening, I have a feeling that it's going to probably go up even higher. So I don't want to, you know, not have any gold and inflation get out of control. Which I'm not saying that it is going to happen, that if they let inflation rates rise to 2% or more, that everything will go crazy. But I know a lot of investors that think like Peter Schiff will be investing in gold, which they are always investing in gold. But I just think it's a good idea just to hedge your portfolios of money with a little bit of precious metals. And you don't have to buy it to where they send it to if you don't want. There is gold stocks and all that. But like I said, if something bad happens, if the U.S. dollar does go to zero, it's nice to kind of have the precious metals with you. So if you do need to go buy something somewhere or you need to escape the country, you got a way to pay somebody to get on a plane. And you see silver silver kind of skyrocketed there in in the first run of the market out of the housing crash. And it's come back down and then it's been starting to go back up in 2020. And you see platinum, platinum's kind of up and down. It doesn't quite react quite as much as uh, gold and silver does to markets. It's kind of more closer to the way silver reacts. You can see those charts are real similar. But you just kind of want to hedge. Gold, gold always goes straight up. I'm sure if we looked at silver on a... A longer chart but this chart only has a 20 year I'm sure silver's constantly went up possibly well it might, it might have dropped because there is more silver supplies but something that read I'm trying to remember where it was I saw it and I'll bring it up and show you but I read something that most of the government stopped buying silver so their silver reserves are not that high they, they've been stocking up on gold and everything but their civil reserves are not that high. So if something happened with one of these fiat currencies, like the US dollar uh, or the euro, any, any fiat currency that does not have a gold standard backing or silver, or some type of precious metal backing, fiat just means it's pretty much a no, uh, nothing backed currency. So it's just the government's word on it, which is in a lot of cases means nothing so if there if that happens then they will have to start buying silver again until they get the whole currency situation figured out so if that 
worst case scenario situ situation was to happen, there could be a nice spike in silver prices as well along with gold and actually I, I would think silver might have better gains if that if that happens because silver is pretty low but yeah you, you can check out all this stuff and check this website out APMEX they got silver platinum all that different stuff they got it in coins and bars and jewelry the, the only thing with jewelry jewelry is it's usually more expensive because you have the artisan in there same thing with coins like to me the best value is pretty much just to buy bars sometimes coins can be cheaper but if you're a coin collector you probably know about all that but yeah that's that's my thoughts on precious metals and whether you should invest in them or not I think it's a good idea to invest in some I wouldn't go gung-ho and go Peter Schiff crazy and buy tons and tons of tons I don't think that's necessary but I think it is a good idea just to get some.